Okay, now we're gonna look at a skull. This is the skull of a regular old house cat. Okay, so let's go over the bones of the skull. The skull is not just one bone, it's many bones that are not exactly fused. We can see what are called sutures, that uh, these lines right here, that uh, delineate when one bone starts and the next bone, right, the, the, the border between those two bo bones. So each bone has a name. And if I start at the very front, okay, the anterior side of this, right? So here's his nose. And here we can see his teeth here, his little incisors right there. And he's kind of resting on his canines on my uh, hand. This bone right at the very front is called on uh, animals, is called the premaxilla, okay? Or the premaxillary bone. Then we'll go back. This is the nasal bone. So there are two, one on each side. This bone is the nasal, premaxillary, nasal, frontal, okay, kind of the bone of the forehead, parietal, and then occipital, just barely you can see is in the back. Premaxillary, front, excuse me, nasal, frontal, parietal, occipital. If we turn them sideways. Okay, the premaxillary bone's still there. Sometimes the lighting is a little bit better if I hold them. That is better. All right, so let's do uh, premaxillary. Now, so this... I don't like being out of focus. All right, so the canine comes in right here. So this bone here, this is all the maxillary bone. Okay, premaxillary, maxillary. This bone that makes part of that, what we call the zygomatic arch, that one right there is uh, called the jugal, J-U-G-A-L, the jugal, and it connects to, you can see there's a little line right there, so this is one bone and there's a second bone. This is called the squamosal. So here we still have the frontal, and this here is still the parietal. Now there's a little, okay, so we have the orbit. Let's look at them face on, okay? Stick my finger in his eye. Okay, so those are the orbitals. If I look in the corner of the orbital, I say this is a really sad bone. It's tiny. Okay, it's right here. And I call it, I think of it as a really, really sad bone. The lacrimal bone. Oh, because that's where the lacrimal duct goes. And so um, if you cry, that's through your lacrimal gland. And so that's the sad bone, so that, because that's where the tear ducts are. Now, obviously, cats don't cry. They don't overflow tears. That's a human thing. But it's a good way to remember it. Okay, so lacrimal bone. Uh, what do we say? Jugal, squamosal, frontal, parietal. Okay, we have the occipital. Occipital bones in the back of the skull, and we see this large hole here, foramen magnum, and that would be where the spinal cord, cord goes in, and that's where the brain is, okay? So we have these occipital condyles, foramen magnum. The tympanic bulla are these two here, and that's where the ears are, okay? So the interior internal parts of the ear are found in the tympanic bulla. Uh, and so that we can see, oh yes. Well, you're like, but no, their ears aren't on the side of the head. They have those cute little cups that kind of come up, right? Well, animals can have the, the fleshy part of their ear, but that's not part of the bone. So that part all is gone here. And we can see that that's the ear, the external auditory meatus is there. And it opens into the tympanic bulla. If we look at this cat skull and we're looking inside its mouth, right? We can still see this is the premaxilla. And then we have the palatine bone making up the palate. So nice. Then it gets a little confusing down here because the bones are so small, but that's okay. This is the vulmer. Okay, it's this bone right here, way in the back. This is all part of the occipital bone. Uh, the only bone we forgot was the mandible. Okay, oops, I got the wrong side. There we go, okay. The mandible, uh, it comes apart right there in the front. Uh, it often has to be glued together, but we can just look at them from the side and see it. Okay, so the lower jaw, this bone, is the mandible. Okay, and so those are all the bones of the skull that you need to know for the zoology class. Now, you could, it most likely will show up as a cat, but it could be any kind of skull uh, with this similar, all the bones are going to show up in the same locations. The size and the shape will vary depending on the animal, but um, 
and then it's not until different groups do those bones fuse. Like you'll have different things that fuse in, in bird skulls, for example, and reptile skulls are different. Don't even get me started about fish skulls. But uh, in mammal skulls, it's pretty consistent.